Fortnite Season 2 is getting ready to reveal the craziest live event of all time. But why is this update so important? What are they hiding from us? This goes all the way back to Fortnite Chapter 1 during the unvaulting live event. It looked beautiful. It was super futuristic, leading us to a crazy volcano that erupted and destroyed all of Tilted Towers. No one knew where this came from. But what is going on? Fortnite already had a volcano live event. Why would there be a Another one. The futuristic Japanese theme has a crazy meaning to the ultimate live event that Fortnite has never seen before. That's right, Fortnite has been working on this for years. Many people say that Fortnite live events haven't been as good as they once were, but it's all leading up to this. Apparently at this location, all the way on the bottom of the map, Fortnite is spoiling the next live event. And no one is talking about it. Let me show you exactly what I mean at this location, all the way on the bottom of the the map. It's almost like Fortnite doesn't want us to see this. Away from the entire rest of the Fortnite map is one specific NPC. I mean, what are the chances of it being all the way on the bottom of the map away from everything? First, if you love Fortnite live events, subscribe to the channel right now. Let me reach 5 million subscribers. And if I go up to this NPC as the Devourer, let's look at what it says. This is the Thunder skin in the Battle Pass, but what you don't know is the true meaning behind this innocent looking lizard creature. Three, two, one. All right, hero, let's have a little chat. The new NPC Thunder has the codenamed Localzilla and looks just like Godzilla. You probably think this is nothing, but apparently this is where things get bad. If you look over here, there is a family of stone frogs just sitting here looking out to the water. What is in the water? What is in the distance? Godzilla is a sea monster and oftentimes revealed from the water! Things get even worse because have you seen the secret Fortnite location? This mysterious location is called Marine Monolith. And look at this. You probably think it means nothing at all. This suggests even more that this was a sea creature on the Fortnite island. The towers also reveal the mouth of a creature. What does this mean for the Fortnite storyline? You can literally see a full monster from this piece of stone. What is going on? Godzilla and Fortnite. Fortnite. That's right, three years of theories, three years of false hope. Godzilla might finally be making his appearance to Fortnite to take down Mega City and the Cyber Dragon, but there's an issue. Start off by looking at this image. You can see the Cyber Dragon in all of his glory. Now look at this image in real life. A very similar wall, and on the top in Tokyo is Godzilla himself. Is Mega City based on this location in real life? Similarities only grow stronger showing another wall and the colossal titan sitting on the top of it. So is it Godzilla or is it going to be the titan in the live event? But besides Godzilla coming to Fortnite, this fire-breathing dragon, there are a lot of secrets that you guys are not realizing. The mech monster in Mega City has the potential, if activated at some point, to use already built-in equipment. They mentioned the monster being activated. It sounds like they know something we don't know related to the monster. Out of the hundreds of Fortnite leaks that we've ever gotten, what do we know that could power this monster up? Thrusters on the back for movement. It's just like the robot from chapter one. Look at those thrusters. That looks insane. But it only gets crazier because there's weapons and lasers under the eyes and we know Fortnite, they don't do anything when it's not on purpose. That looks like a crazy live event ready to happen and a Another weapon in the mouth. It's almost like this monster is getting ready for battle. And they're already teasing all of the abilities that it can use. Throwing fire in the air against Godzilla. But this only gets worse, and I'm about to explain what's going on. This is a concept of the Fortnite map based on all of these leaks showing the Mega Volcano Update. From the beginning, the map looks extremely normal, but when you scroll down to the new POI, Mega City, say hello to the beginning of the end of Mega City. This is a literal volcano on the Fortnite map right next to the city itself. Luckily, the volcano and the lava hasn't really reached it yet, but this is not going to last for very long. But obviously, we know Fortnite plans everything out, and every live event happens for a reason. Why is there going to be a volcano 
now invading Mega City. What does this relate to Godzilla? What does this relate to everything we're talking about? This gets worse. Things start to change drastically. Say hello to the Molten Mountain. Here you can see the volcano is growing, the lava is rising, and it's all heading towards the Mega City. We already know the robotic monster can shoot fire. Imagine what happens when the lava itself reaches this monster. It sounds like it has the ability to power it up. Go to the volcano location with the thunder skin. Something really weird happens. That is a comment I just got. I have no idea if it's real or fake, but let's test it out so you don't have to. Okay, all we gotta do, we're in our locker, type in thunder, and there it is. Equip it. What is Fortnite planning at this location? Let's see if we can activate something early here. Okay, let's drop down exactly where this volcano is about to occur. You can literally see there's pools of water rising up and it looks like there's literally a volcano coming but it's just a matter of time but now we have the godzilla skin on something that many people have not done yet this looks like a volcano ready to happen and if you stand in the center this will literally happen but why is that hot springs and geysers are also manifestations of volcanic activity they result from the interaction of groundwater with magma or with solidified but still hot igneous rocks at shallow depths Guys, do you know what this means? This is fitting every description. It's literally a shallow pool of water. If I do an emote, can I activate something? Okay, probably not. But what happens if you glitch under the map? Is there lava under? Let's find out. How do you glitch under the map to see the lava in chapter four? Season two, let me show you. All you have to do is start by going to the edge of the map like this. It's an easy glitch I've done for years. All you do is go to the edge of the map, then you go down and boom, just like that, you're under. Let's do it now. Okay, what is Fortnite hiding? Go to the edge, go all the way down, keep on going, and we're about to go under the map in three, two, one wait a minute it's not letting me go it's not letting me go anymore fortnite patched it to me that's extremely suspicious i have a strong feeling there is lava under this pool and fortnite doesn't want us to see it just yet okay so if there's actually a volcano coming to fortnite i mentioned godzilla as well in this live event and on top of that there's a crazy cyber dragon it almost seems all unrelated but what if i told you this is shaping up to be the craziest action-packed live event you have ever seen the cyber dragon is is ready but how do they all relate i'm about to blow your mind with a quick google search all you have to type in is godzilla volcano it turns out in the films he literally fell into a volcano godzilla leaves tokyo and swims across tokyo bay follows the device and falls into the mouth of the volcano so there you have it godzilla a volcano the cyber dragon subscribe if you learned something today